he and I debated at the Soho Forum on the issue of fractured reserve banking and whether it is a healthy thing for a market economy or if it promotes instability. But in any event, he's very knowledgeable about money and banking. And so when his new book on the Great Depression and New Deal and economic recovery came out, definitely wanted to get him. But I want to just before we get into that, George, you recently were crossing swords with some in the Bitcoin community having to do with this issue about like, hey, should you, is it a store of value? Is it a medium of exchange? And is there a tension between people saying, oh, just hodl right now, just hang on to that thing versus like, how can it become a global money? So anyway, do you want to just explain like what your perspective was and what you thought the weakness was in the, at least the view of it, Bitcoin among some of its proponents? Well, yeah, when Bitcoin was originally launched, it's pretty clear that the goal, the ultimate goal was to have it serve not only as a widely used medium of exchange, not just on special for special occasions or to evade controls and that sort of thing, but as a routine medium of exchange that might one day <laughs> give the dollar and other established fiat monies a hard time, seriously erode their dominance. And um, what has happened Instead, is that while there is some ordinary transacting done by using Bitcoin, and it's not a trivial amount, still, what has happened is that Bitcoin has instead become extremely popular as a longer-term investment, a speculative investment. And indeed, you have large parts of the Bitcoin community who now and for some time have been saying that you're crazy if you spend your Bitcoin, you ought to hold it. And of course, if you're not spending it, you're not using it as money, as an ordinary medium of exchange. And so um, when I point out that Bitcoin hasn't really been that successful as a medium of exchange, as a popular medium of exchange, and that indeed, the more successful it has become as an investment so that people are more and more inclined to hold on to it and in, in anticipation of capital gains. When I point out that this is the case, a lot of people in the Bitcoin community get kind of pissed off at me. They seem to want to have their cake and eat it too. They want this to be, yes, a very popular store of value, investment. They want it to be something people are inclined to not spend. And at the same time, they want to say, hey, it's taking over his money. <laughs> and, uh, and I say, well, it's not. Now, when I say that, I'm not making a general assessment. 